All right, ladies and gentlemen, here's the last one. We're going to cover a couple more pieces here. We're going to go a little bit more broad with this one because of how the end of this video shapes up. Um, well, but I, uh, I think you get the idea, so let's take a summarize look. Summarize <laughs> Uh, I, I'm working with this company, I'm doing ABA, but I am not going to tell these buggers about it. If I tell them about ABA, they'll figure out what's going on. I'm going to keep my ABCPA in the dark. I want everybody to be mushrooms, because the moment that these people figure out that I'm milking them, I'm out. I'm done. Oh, one more thing that's really important. I, I never signed an agreement about how we're going to terminate the contract. We're, nothing. As far as, as far as Steven knows, he's going all out for months. That bugger is going to get soaked. I got to tell you about this recent plan. In fact, I'm not even going to really tell you about the plan because I haven't even told Steve and the owner about this darn plan. We're going to use this thing called Mega Managers. Basically, they just need to go around telling people <laughs> when people are effing up, when they're doing wrong. In fact, when they even think about doing wrong, I want the managers to get completely up there. Reinfor reinforcement? There's enough reinforcement. The only thing that we got to worry about for reinforcement is you getting your darn paycheck. I'm not going to tell you what I'm doing. <laughs> You'll see. Oh, hell no. But I like to stay up late at night. I like to drink all afternoon, afternoon and evening. <laughs> um, so here we go. A little more crown for the night. About my time. I don't care what they do. I don't care how they do it. I don't give two shits at all about what's going on around. It's probably the time that I should start feeling like I should exit <laughs> the bar. <laughs> all right, folks. I mean. Let's just be realistic, okay? I mean, let's just take all these little ethical violations here. Don't fall over. All right, and push them over here because we got them all, okay? Um, well, at least maybe not all of them. But uh, the point being, we, we really covered a lot in that particular subsection. It's, it's kind of hard to break them out into the individual pieces, so you're going to have to go back and look in a little more detail. But we're looking at number four and number five is really the focus. There's also some other ones that came in from earlier um, in terms of like uh, knowing when to terminate contracts and things like that. So um, so really, with regard to five, I mean, I talk about the mega managers, and I'm like, I got all these different people. I'm trying to supervise or get them work. I, do you really think I have the ability to do all that? one person trying to manage all those, plus I've got a whole bunch of BCBAs underneath me that are trying to do that as well. That's, that's functionally impossible. It's not, an, it's, it's, not, it's not even realistic to be able to implement a program that large um, with that many people involved. It's, it's just, it's too much. Uh, four, I mean, with, with all of the, uh, just all of the ethical codes in four. That's why we put the whole stack there. Um, I mean, really, I'm talking about reinforcement being ineffective and not even bothering with it and like who cares uh we have no we have no clear definitions we have nothing it's just everything about the program that we've developed is completely wrong right um it's not based on science it's not based on there's not enough probably not enough measurement going on um there's not like i said no clear beginning and end um the, we don't care about the outcomes for the client we don't care about anything we just kind of keep things going in order to to make as much money as possible so um, so I, I mean, aha, my brain's going. There's HIPAA violations. There's every, there's every, it's it's crazy. So obviously the funny part in the video is that um, everybody in the bar over time had kind of had enough of me being unethical, and they kind of hauled my butt out of the bar. Um, so I do want to say a big thank you to a couple of folks here. Um, number one, the Bigfoot Pub and Eatery, which has been around forever in Spokane, um, here in Spokane, Washington, where we're doing our filming and where we we live and work. And they the owners graciously generate allowed us to use their bar on Halloween night, which is what we were doing. Uh, or right around Halloween day. I think it was like the day before, so which is why you see all the Halloween decorations. Anyway, um, so they had a big taco bar thing there, which was hosted by a, uh, um, a philanthropic, philanthropic Facebook group called MTFU, called, uh, Man the Family Up. Um, so I want to do a big shout out to Chris Morse and the people from MTFU. Uh, we got a bunch of extras. We probably got 40, 50 people out there that night to help out. Uh, we took over that bar completely. We had the audio system and we were telling people what to do, when to do it. We had ladders out. We had multiple cameras. It was a lot of fun, but we did disrupt their business quite quite heavily that night. Um, so again, thank you to the Bigfoot. Thank you to MTFU for coming out and supporting us while we did something completely unique with regard to ethics. So, and for the rest of you out there, uh, make sure that you um, study your ethical codes. I know some of them get a little weird. They get a little wonky. Um, and sometimes you don't understand the value of it. Well, uh, hopefully by doing this uh, non-exemplar and then walking you through it um, and doing the error correction and the feedback and, the, and all the getting shot for doing the things that are wrong, hopefully that helps you see some of the individual pieces. And we want you to remember one thing that um, a good behavior analyst is ethical by nature.
right? So be a, be a good behavior analyst, uh, do good well while you're out there, and make sure you keep these ethical codes in mind. Because every time you read through them, every time you work through them, um, you're going to learn something a little different and realize something a little different. So hope you enjoyed our series on ethics. Um, it's been a kick in the pants to make, edit, record, and do all that fun stuff. And uh, we'll see you again when we see you. Psychora out.